one of the biggest requests I get from teachers is, um, it may be a complaint more than a request, is I don't know where my stuff is within Google Drive. I cannot find what I'm looking for. So they spend a lot of time kind of searching through all of their folders. And I don't know about you, but I have a lot of stuff in mind. So this is my smaller drive of where I only have 10 and a half gig, but in my narrative drive, I have 237-ish gigs. So it can be really hard to find things. So what we really need to do is we need to learn to use the advanced search tool. So that's what Google is known for, advanced searching. So what we want to do is we want to come up into Google Drive. We want to come up here instead of just typing in this box, which is what most people do. We want to come over and we want to use this down arrow and we want to go into the search options. This is an advanced search. My favorite part of this is that I have the ability to come in and I have the ability to look for a specific kind of thing. I am looking for a presentation. I am looking that the owner has, there's lots of options. This one is owned by me. I am going to say, I know I built this. It can be anywhere. It can be anytime. I never look by name. I am looking for a document called BGWS and it has the word slides in it. No, nope, I lied to you. It has the words um, calendar. I'm looking for a very specific um, document right now. So I'm looking for a slide presentation that was owned by me, so built by me, and it has the words BGWS and calendar. The reason you do has the words because it will search the content of the document, not just the title. That is going to give you a lot more information. I never know what I call things. So it makes more sense to look by um, has the words. So I'm going to tell it to search and it should pull up. I probably have three or four renditions of this. There they are. Okay, so these are all the different times I found them and there's the one I want right there. Awesome, it's really easy. Make sure we're really using that functionality in there of that, um, the advanced search coming into that down arrow, picking the type of document we, we want. You can see you have lots of options. And then who is the actual owner? So is it anyone owned by me, owned by someone else, or owned by a specific person? You can type in their email. And then um, has the words. What are the words in there? Thanks, everybody. Bye.